AMD has finally released their direct competitor to DLSS. Fidelity FX Super Resolution is finally coming to uh, some very select video games. So today I wanted to give it a little try out with some different hardware that I have laying around just to see what kind of results I can get. So it is very much in a beta phase right now. <laughs> like, there is only about 10 games less than supported currently. And I think you have to download a special driver from AMD to get it to work, but NVIDIA cards just work with whatever driver that you have installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a 1070 Ti, a you know pretty standard off the shelf 10 series card, mid range, just to see what kind of performance increases it can see. And then I'm gonna move on to a Athlon 3000G. So pretty much the worst case scenario, but it does have integrated Radeon drivers. And then a slightly lower end AMD card just to see how much AMD can improve with their lowest end graphics card. We got a 5500 XT, four gigabyte model. And then after all of this, I'll just show some footage from my own system. It's a 5950X with a 6900 XT. And that is the absolute best case scenario, rage mode, smart access memory, all of that to see just how big of a gain that they can give you. So let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. We're going to be playing the King's Hunt playtest demo because I really didn't feel like buying a game specifically for this video. It's uh, It looks like a pretty promising game. It's third person. It is free. Like the playtest is free. You just go on Steam, hit... Uh, sign up for playtest and it'll just light up saying that you can uh, download and try it out. So you can try this out at home, you know, let me know in the comments what, uh, what kind of results that you get. I really feel like this software is for uh, the less powerful AMD cards to kind of keep up with uh, NVIDIA's DLSS. It is truly magical what DLSS can do to a, a video game as far as frame rates go. Like being able to get 25% more FPS, sometimes even 50% more FPS at the same exact resolution is pretty impressive. I know that it does take a little bit of a toll on the actual like video quality. Like you can tell that there's a little bit of blurriness even in DLSS where I feel like this does a really good job of sharpening up the image. So even in the ultra high quality setting, like it looks better and you get more FPS. Magic. So again, this is a 1070 Ti, completely off the shelf 10 series card. Like, I feel like this is one of the best value GPUs once the, uh, the whole GPU disaster calms down. Let's go ahead and play a custom game. I don't know what this game is. It looks like a uh, tower defense type game. Okay, it's already on. Turn it off. All right, so with it off, I'm seeing about 90 FPS, which, you know, it's not bad. That's, I mean, this game looks pretty good for 90 FPS. Especially on a 10 series card. Then we turn it on, we see a instant jump and at least 10 FPS. So there's at least a 10% improvement there, but I really feel like the video, like the actual quality of the character model and like things around it, get better like it looks sharper i'm sure there's like some sharpening going on there but it's pretty impressive then we go ahead and go to just the quality mode doesn't seem like we get that much of a gain if any maybe a few fps it still looks really good and then we go to balanced it looks pretty good uh, it looks like we get up to 120 fps the game is when you start moving, it starts to kind of blur. You can see where when you're moving, it's, I think it's like blurring to keep the frame rate higher. Cause once I stop moving it, it kind of focuses. And I don't know if that's just a, a feature of the game. It still looks really good. And uh, you're getting over 120 FPS. So from not having it enabled to having it enabled in balanced mode, the game doesn't look bad and you're also gaining 30 FPS, that's, that's some good stuff right there. And then lastly, there's a the performance mode. It really, 
it really takes a toll on how the game actually looks. Like, the character model starts looking pretty blurry. Things off in the distance are not fully sharpened. But we're getting 140 FPS, so if you're one of those people who bought 144 FPS monitors and you'll be damned if you don't get 144 FPS, there it is. I mean, it doesn't look as impressive as I think it could. And honestly, I'd probably give up the few FPS to uh, make it look better. But it's working on an NVIDIA graphics card, which is not something I'd expect NVIDIA to do for AMD. So hats off to them. Hats, hats off to AMD for making this a feature and just handing it out. Especially the 10 series owners who are probably feeling pretty abandoned by NVIDIA at this point. Especially being specifically called out in the 30 series reveal as uh, time to upgrade, we're not going to help you anymore. Alright, so, you know, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty promising. Let's give it a shot on some uh, lesser than this hardware, but AMD hardware. So maybe we'll see uh, bigger gains because it is specifically de designed for AMD hardware. So this is the Vision Tech 5500 XT. It's a 4 gigabyte model. It is, I think, the cheapest uh, up until the 5300 kind of came out but didn't come out like I haven't seen a 5300 that didn't come in a pre-built so this is the cheapest off-the-shelf AMD graphics card that you could get not that you can get any graphics cards anymore They're, although supply does seem to be improving so let's look forward to that obviously I could be trying this out with way more hardware so let me know in the comments if you want to see me do like a live stream where you just request a video game or a uh, a program and a set of hardware and I'll just run some benchmarks or something on that set of hardware so that you can see what kind of results you would get if you wanted to upgrade to that hardware. And while this is all getting loaded up I want to just take a minute to ask you guys to get subscribed. The channel is growing at a great rate and I really want to get to a point where I can post a new video every single day and on whatever topic is big that day or whatever hardware that I can just buy and bring to you specifically. So if you could get subscribed, that would be massive to me and all the other people who want to see that content. So this card is not as powerful as that 1070 Ti is. Like, by no means should this be even close. So it'd be really interesting to see if AMD using AMD hardware can help surpass a more powerful NVIDIA GPU in these titles. Go same character just to not mess up any uh, scientific results here. All right, let's go ahead and set this to off. All ultra, 1080p. This should be a slaughter. So we're seeing about 60 FPS, which is okay. This is pretty impressive for this hardware. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on the ultra quality. So we're seeing 70 FPS, 80. Wow, it's actually pretty impressive. So on the ultra quality preset, we're getting pretty close to the 1070 Ti's kind of base limit there. Let's go to quality. Again, not that big of a difference over, we see some frame drops there. This game is kind of jittery at first. I think it might be some like scene loading things. Let's go ahead and switch to balanced. Again, not a huge uplift there. I think we're getting to the point, yeah, 84-ish. Yeah, just above 80. So not quite able to match the 1070 Ti's performance until you turn on performance mode and we get over 100, almost 110 FPS there for a second. Yeah, some of these parts are seeing 100 FPS, especially when moving, that's... But again, the game looks very blurry. Like, it looks like you're, we're actually turning down the resolution here. I wouldn't think that, uh, you would want to play on this kind of blurriness unless you were trying to be like competitive and this was your route of being competitive but can I jump over this fence? No, I can't even jump over this fence. Can I jump over this? I can't. <laughs> so yeah. 
almost a 50 FPS improvement on uh, on AMD's old own hardware. I think we also saw that with the 10 series. So when we see 90 to like almost 140, so it doesn't seem like it's getting. It doesn't seem like it works that much better on AMD's own hardware specifically with this card. Definitely smoother with it. Let's just turn it off real quick. Game looks pretty good even even if, but yeah, 50, 60-ish FPS there with it off. I would at least be playing with that ultra quality preset. It really does boost the FPS and it looks just as good. Like I can barely tell any difference, if any, between having it on and off until we start getting into that performance mode where it's like, Ugh. All right, let's go ahead and try out the iGPU. This is gonna be probably the most depressing out of all of these tests. Oh yeah, we're also using a Corsair Saber RGB Pro. And uh, this mouse doesn't uh, specifically like our little Athlon friend here. <laughs> Find out why in a later video. So this of course is the Athlon 3000G. This is literally the worst case uh, in integrated graphics scenario that I can come up with that these settings might work on. And uh, it looks like we're going to be trying out like some 720p with it on to see if we can't improve frame rates even down to that level. I wish I had a better uh, iGPU, but even things with integrated graphics are selling out at a l alarming rate. I think I might have to try this out on my Asus Zephyrus and see what uh, the iGPU on that can do. All right, let's see how bad this game looks on an iGPU, specifically the worst iGPU that uh, you can kind of get right now. I don't know, it's not Intel, so. At least the, uh, the menu is snappy. All right. Can we make this game playable with super resolution? So right now we're getting a whopping 7 FPS. I'm pretty sure they're all set to ultra still, so let's go ahead and cut this down to uh, whatever's the lowest possible. And let's also hit it with uh, some 720p. Okay, all right. Now we're up to like 30 FPS, so that's a decent start. All right, so let's just turn that off. Okay, so the game looks terrible, but uh, it's not specifically unplayable. I'm sure as soon as you start getting some visual effects, yeah, hey, yeah, but 20, 20 FPS. <laughs> I don't know if I could play this like this, but uh, you know, there's people desperate enough out there. Let's go ahead and go to ultra quality. Mm, that five FPS improvement, which is a lot when you only have this many FPS. <laughs> Go ahead and see what uh, quality does. Ooh, we crossed 30. Oh, mm, not bad. Balanced, we're at the 35. Like, these are huge FPS improvements. Like, absolutely massive. Like, could this touch 40? I mean, it looks awful. Like, this is, I'm sure on a 720p monitor, it looks better, but uh, 40 FPS. So going from around 20, Wow, even is touching 60? What? That is unreal. Like the game engine. Wow, I mean, it does not look good. By any means, this is not a good looking experience. Uh, it almost looks like a PlayStation 3 game that has been stretched onto a 1080p monitor. For the FPS, I mean, you really can't complain. Uh, the game went from being almost entirely unplayable. Like, let's just go back to what it was. This is at 720p by the way, like 20 FPS, just barely breaking into that. Just barely breaking over 20 FPS, like 21, 23, I think this sign, yeah, just barely getting over 20. And then to turn it on to performance mode and get literally double the FPS, uh, I mean, that's that's a, that's a wow. Like, <laughs> obviously, I don't think you really want to be playing like this, but yeah, you know, if this is what you got and you can take an otherwise unplayable experience and turn it into a playable experience, uh, 
that's that's a win. And you know, that's giving I'm sure this works way better on a slightly better IGV. Like this is a Vega a Vega three. Like this is terrible. Like this is an awful like it's a fifty dollar CPU that is getting over forty FPS in this title. Like there's no GPU here. Obviously it doesn't look good, but the FPS does not lie. <laughs> It doesn't even lag when you like shoot off a spell. Like, okay, there we go. There's some lag. <laughs> See what my E does. Yeah, forty FPS from an Athlon. That is unreal. That is insane. Like, if someone said, hey, I want to play this title on an Athlon, I would be like, yeah, it's going to be a bad time, but it's actually playable. All right, so I'm going to do a quick little uh, voiceover section here. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to grab my PC, slam it on the table here, and see what that gets for FPS. And we're really just going from the worst case scenario to the best case scenario. All right, so this is my personal system. We have a Ryzen 9 5950X with the Radeon RX 6900 XT. Smart access memory is enabled and it is in rage mode. So this is the best case scenario for this. Obviously there's better 6900 XTs out there, but I really just wanted a founder's edition because, or a reference or whatever you want to call it because I think it looks the best to me. So let's go ahead and fire up the same game. Let's make sure all of our settings in the uh, Radeon center there. Smart access memory enabled, rage mode. I love how much coil wine you get from this graphics card. It is quite powerful sounding. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like it's just it's just capped at 250 maybe. Let me uh, let me go ahead and turn on ultra quality. Yeah. So without it on, it's, you know, still getting over 200 FPS. <laughs> at this point you're asking, do you really need it? Let's go ahead and go to ultra quality preset, 250. Uh, all right. This is not a 1080p gaming card by any means. So let's go ahead and uh, quit the game. Go ahead and set up super scaling. We're gonna need super scaling to really put a load on this. So in your uh, Radeon Center, just go ahead and click, click on the cog and then go to display and then virtual super resolution. This will make it so that you can select any available uh, resolution setting that you want for whatever game you're playing. So you can go over whatever your base resolution is. In case you're like me, where you get 250 FPS and you don't want 250 FPS, you wanna see an actual scalable difference. All right, so just go full screen and then we can change this to uh, 4K. Let's just change it to 4K because that's uh, probably the best option that I have for seeing a scalable difference, even though that FPS meter is gonna get very small up there. So let's turn it off. So we're playing at 4K here. We're getting 80, 80, 60, I don't know how many FPS. I can't really see it. We'll see it in post. <laughs> so yeah, the game is perfectly playable at 4K. But if we go ahead and turn on our ultra quality, we're seeing over 100 FPS in uh, at 4K. Pretty impressive. The game still looks great, by the way. I mean, I'm playing it on a 1080p monitor, so... Uh, anything above this point is still uh, over what this monitor can uh, can produce. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to quality. See a bump up to 140 FPS. So if 140 is your target, then uh, it can definitely meet it. Balanced mode. We're seeing 170. Good lord. So once you get up in there, in so once you get up there in uh, in resolution, it really doesn't care anymore. Like it just starts having like huge gains. Like this is performance mode, and uh, I couldn't tell you there's a difference. Obviously on the the, the Athlon you could see a huge difference, but uh, on this I don't really see a difference.
Yeah, no. Looks great, even in performance mode. <laughs> I mean, I need a 4K monitor. I don't have one to really give you guys a good idea of what this looks like. Again, I'm not seeing a huge difference in quality between performance mode and uh, ultra mode. So it's, it's very interesting to see the difference between this and an Athlon. Like, obviously on the Athlon you have pretty much no FPS to begin with, and then it essentially doubles your FPS. Where this, it looks like in performance mode, it uh, at 4K it will uh, double your performance. Also, it's just a different kind of doubling. Yeah, that... So, in the worst case and the best case, we're seeing literally double performance between it off and it in performance mode. We're seeing about a 50% improvement with it off and in ultra quality mode, and you can barely tell, I honestly can't tell the difference between any of the textures in ultra quality and in just having it off. And with your Radeon 5500 XT, we're seeing about a 20 to 50% improvement across the board as far as ultra quality to uh, performance mode. And then with your 10 series, again, we're seeing about a 20 to 50% improvement. So it's very interesting to see uh, when you have really good hardware, it's giving you a massive increase in uh, frame rates. All you hear is the graphics card whine more because it's producing more frames. It's getting more frames through the GPU core. So yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's really all there is to be uh, said about this game and Fidelity FX Super Resolution, it honestly does a great job. Like, I would definitely, uh, you know, recommend turning it on, at least having it in that ultra quality preset if you have a relatively decent GPU to begin with. And if you are looking to have playable frame rates in a game that you otherwise wouldn't, then turn it on that performance mode and it might look like meh, but at least you have playable frame rates and you can enjoy the game with your friends if that's what you're trying to do. It's so like always guys, uh, get subscribed, leave a comment, you know, let me know what you see in this game, and like always, hit the like button. We'll see you next time.